Hello everybody. I just wanted to give you a heads up of the type of video you're about to see. Callum has been sick for a little over two weeks. He's had large, clumpy, soft stools as well as diarrhea. He has been to the vet, he has taken antibiotics, and he has improved but he's not 100% better yet. The purpose of this video is not for any type of diagnosis, it's just for informative purposes only. When I was researching his symptoms, I couldn't figure out exactly what it was that he had or what I would be going through while it was happening. So in case your guinea pig is experiencing something similar, you can get an idea of what you'll be going through, maybe even the types of medicines they'll give you. But please take your guinea pig to the vet if it's showing any type of these symptoms whatsoever at all. Do not wait. This can be fatal. Sorry to scare you. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. I was getting ready to do the morning cage clean and I found a few poops. I don't know if you can see. Hi Callum. That are kind of clumpy looking. And they came from this little guy. I did see one come out of him. I guess just per, for perspective, um, let me see. These are what the girls poops look like. I know they're a little small, but they've always been this size ever since I've had the girls, and they're uniform. They're always the same shape, same consistency, and these, oops, I think he's covering them. Cool, nice job, babies. Trying to show off your poop. As you can see, this is not consistent or uniform at all. Actually, almost looks a little squishy. Yeah, it's a little soft. So I'm going to go ahead and call the vet, see if they can get us an appointment today, and I'll let you guys know what's going on. Alright, so I got off the phone with the vet. Uh, they don't have an appointment today. We'll be able to see them in a couple days. She asked to make sure if he is eating and drinking. He's definitely eating. I need to monitor today to make sure he is drinking. Um, if I notice he is not drinking at all, I will call them back. He seems okay. I don't think. I'm trying to see if he looks bloated, but it's kind of hard to tell. Hi. All right, we just got back from the vet. So he's not going to be too happy about this. No fresh veggies for a whole week. And we're going to be on some antibiotics. So hopefully those will firm up those little pooties. He already left us a couple presents when he came home. They already look a little bit better, but my goodness, they smell. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. So we will see how this goes. Good boy. It's all gone. Let go. So Callum is eating his hay and pellets and he is drinking his water, but just to make sure everything in his tummy is moving correctly and also to kind of help fix him a little bit. Um, I'm also supplementing him with some of this stuff. It is the recovery food. It's also called critical care. So I'm going to go ahead and just give him a little bit just to kind of keep everything going. Callum, baby, come here. Callum. Where is he? Come here, baby. Oopsie. Be a good boy. Good boy. Pink out all of it, honey. Want some more?
<laughs> no, Luna. Just a little bit left, okay? I think that's it. That's it, honey. It's all gone. Honey, that's it. Let go. Let go, babies. Good boy. So I'm a little worried because it's been almost a week. And his poops haven't gotten much better. They're just these awful soft piles all over the cage. And I feel bad because the piggies have been stepping all over them. So their little feetsies are dirty. I've been trying to clean them, but they don't really cooperate with that. Okay, so just an update on what's going on with him. I've been meaning to record this for a couple days. I've just been busy. Um, so this past Thursday, the vet called to see how he's been doing on the antibiotics, and I let them know that he didn't have any improvement with his poop. It was still clumpy and soft. Um, what they were giving him, it's an antibiotic. So we were giving him this. Um, but there was no improvement. Uh, it was on Saturday was our first appointment. So Saturday to Thursday, that's what I was giving him twice a day, 0.66 milliliters. And when they heard there was no more, no improvement, uh, they said we should get him on a different antibiotic. So Thursday evening until Sunday morning, he's been on this. He's been on 0.42 milliliters. And he's been doing okay. I've been giving him critical care um, just to kind of keep things moving. He has been pooping. It hasn't looked pretty, but he has been pooping. Um, now, flash forward to this morning. It's now Sunday morning. Um, this was the first day when I woke up. He was hiding. He's very lethargic and he's kind of bloaty. I did give him gas drops. Been using this brand of gas drops. And I rubbed his tummy. I did feel some movement, but he's still kind of gassy. But now he's he's just been lethargic pretty much all morning. He's not really eating. I've been trying to offer him hay. I've been trying to offer him critical care. He's not really interested. Try again. Can try a little bit, honey? No? Okay, yeah, he's just not interested. Now, here's the downside with having guinea pigs. Because they are considered an exotic animal, not every vet treats them. We have, oh, and another thing on top of all that, it is a weekend. So, the vets that would help him are mostly closed. I've been trying to call emergency vets in the area nobody will see him either they are an exotic but they are not unable to see him just with everything going on with the coronavirus they just have limited staff limited hours or just they're not an exotic at all and they can't see him i tried getting some advice but basically all they told me was the only thing the only service they could offer was putting him down but i don't think that that is an option as of yet he seems okay. I mean, I know he doesn't look great, but I don't think, you know, that that's the only option for him. So today is mostly going to be just keeping an eye on him. I'll try to offer him food and hay. I'll make sure he's using the restroom just because there's nowhere I can go in the area. At least until tomorrow morning, I'll call my regular vet and get him in as soon as possible. Hi! So Callum is doing much better. He seems more like himself. Yesterday was pretty rough. He was lethargic for a while, uh, a few hours actually. 
what we did next because he was still refusing to eat i have an appetite restorer and that was pretty rough we had to really force him to drink that we had like a little syringe and i do feel really bad but shortly after he started eating hay he did a few big poops right after that i don't know if he was blocked or something i think the eating helped to push everything out that might have been in there and even better news yet i'm looking around the cage and i don't see any bad poops i need to look for sure but i think these are his because these i think these are actually one of each of theirs luna's are the top ones hers have been a little bit smaller than normal and tara's have been kind of a lighter color but as long as they're all at least the right shape that's much, much, much better. It's really good news.